Hi guys, welcome to Azure Content. This is part 4 in Mapping Data Flow Scenarios playlist. In this video, we are going to learn how to transform an array based on aggregation using Mapping Data Flow. So let's see what our requirement is. So we want to convert each item of an array into individual rows. So let me make you understand about this use case with the help of this image. Okay. So here, as it is clearly visible, there are two items of this array. One is this one and another one is this, this one. Okay. So we need to transform it into individual rows, which means uh, depending on the number of item of array, uh, there will be individual rows. So here, there are two um, items of the array. So we will have two individual rows. Okay. So, um, so in the target table, you can see the first column is ID, okay, which is not present in the source data as any of the properties. So we will create this ID column with the help of surrogate key as we have done in our previous video also. So don't worry about this. Now coming to the uh, second column, which is email. In each item of the array, there is something called email. So this email value will be stored in email column. Okay. Now inside this question array, there are few set of questions. Okay. So the first question and answer content will be accommodated in, in the single column here in question answer one. Okay. So similarly, uh, the second question and answer content will be accommodated in a single column called question answer two. Okay. So similarly for the other item of array, we will have uh, another row which will have the email ID present here. And then uh, these two will be accommodated in a single column and similarly, this will be part of question answer two. Okay. So basically we need to perform aggregation or what we call uh, group by in the SQL language based on this email ID column. So because uh, for each email ID, there are few question uh, set of questions, which we want to accommodate for, for this email ID. These are the question and answer for this email ID. These are the question and answer. This is how our output should look like. Okay. Now let's try to achieve this using data flow. Okay. Let me go to the uh, workspace, ADF workspace, and let me create a new data flow. I have already enabled this data flow debug option, which will help us to preview the data while we design data flow. Now, let me add the source. Here, we need to point out to the source data set. So, let me create a new data set pointing to my ADL, ADLS Gen2 account. Okay, our uh, data is of JSON type. Okay. Now let me select the existing link service and I have the data in a demo container inside that the file name is question answer dot JSON. Okay. Let me choose that. And uh, yeah, we have to import the schema. I'm clicking on. Okay. So let me uh, hit refresh on the data preview option. Okay. So it gave an error saying uh, there's some malformed record. The reason is uh, we have already discussed in our previous video. In the source option, we need to select which kind of uh, JSON data you have. So in our case, it is array of documents. Okay. So let me select that and hit refresh again. So we can see uh, there are two rows coming uh, with separate email ID. And this is the question array. Okay. For individual rows. Now, uh, the first thing we need to do is we need to flatten this array so that we get the uh, value for each of the properties, whatever we need. Okay. So we can use flatten transformation for that purpose. Let me add that. So here we need to select the array uh, to unroll. Okay. So in our case, question is the array which we need to unroll. Uh, now let me remove this question. Let me add fixed mapping and let me select uh, all the properties that we need going further. So we don't need question ID. We need question content. Okay. And let me add answer content as well. Inside this answer property, there is something called answer content. Okay. So this is what we need. Let me do the data preview here. So it says column name is duplicate. So I did not change the column name. Let me give it as question content. Okay. And here we will give answer content. Till this point, it is similar to the previous video. Now let me hit the data preview again. So our uh, each of the question is coming as separate uh, rows. Okay. Because we have flattened the data based on this question array. Okay. So now what we want to do is we want to perform group by 
based on the email id columns for these two email id there should be a single row for these two email ids uh, there should be a single row so there should be only two rows as per our requirement why because you can see based on email id we have uh, grouped the data okay so uh, how do we do group by in sql we perform group by using the group by clause and we need to give some aggregate uh, function like uh, sum or min or max or count something like that right uh, when we perform the group by in sql okay in data flow we can perform group by using aggregate transformation okay so there is something called aggregate transformation where you can group the data based on the column selected okay so in our case we need to uh, group by using email column now uh, we need to give some aggregate function here in the aggregate option so let me create a new column called question answer here so in the expression we will use some aggregate function so there is a function called collect what it does is it takes all the values what we provide and converts it into array so uh, let me remove this and just select question content and show you how the data looks like so now you can see with the help of group by uh, four rows uh, got transformed into only two rows an array got created which is having only question values okay now let's go to the presentation and see uh, what we want to achieve right uh, so here you can see name is correct coming correctly and country is coming correctly but we are missing a colon and then answer content okay so let me go to the aggregate setting again and here i will make a small change here i will concatenate uh, colon and let me give spaces here and then I will add answer content now let me uh, do the data preview again now let's see how the data looks like so you can see now question content and answer content are coming as a single record okay so uh, our data looks correct but we want to convert it into different columns right we want to convert these into different columns okay so let me add a derived column transformation okay and here uh, we will write uh, the column name that we want it is question answer one and another column we want is question answer two so let me go back so basically we want to convert this as first column and this as the second column okay so uh, let me go back and in the first column I will select uh, the array and um, index will be 1 okay and similarly for the second let me select the same array and give the second index okay let me do the data preview so you can see uh, the, these two columns got generated with the help of this derived column transformation so and it has the similar value that we want to achieve here right name anu country india name anu country india name ashish country india country india okay now um, we don't want this uh, unnecessary column let me uh, use select transformation and remove this particular column okay let me just click on it and delete it okay if uh, i see the data now so uh, we have the desired column only let me go to the uh, presentation again so here we have achieved this requirement uh, of creating these three columns only thing is we need to use, uh, add this additional column called id so for that uh, it is very simple we will use surrogate key transformation which will, which will create an additional uh, column called id as i am giving it here and the start value uh, is one and step value means uh, what will be the incremental value for the further records so let me do the data preview so you can see uh, it's coming id column is coming perfectly but uh, it's coming at the last so to make it come to the front we just need to use select transformation again and just uh, drag it to the top okay let me do that again yeah let me hit refresh in data preview if we compare it with our uh, desired output it is similar right so let me add a sync transformation here and point it to our azure sql table okay let me create a new table called uh, transform data 
transform question answer data okay let me uh, create a new pipeline and call this data flow okay let me drag the data flow and run it so the data flow execution is completed let me go to the uh, sql table and hit refresh on table so here the new table got created let me select start from this table and uh, this is what we wanted to achieve right it is exactly the same in our output uh, use case image right so this is uh, what i wanted to share in this video guys so i hope you like this video please keep supporting this channel and hit like button and also subscribe to this channel if you haven't uh, done it yet thank you